Welcome to iLecture Online. Our next topic on products of vectors is how to find the angle between two vectors. It turns out that's the natural progression of the dot product. Let me explain. We have two vectors here. Vector A is 3i plus 6j. And remember, i is x direction, j is the y direction. Vector B is 2i minus 5j. Let's draw that on the board for a moment. So let's put our x, y axis down. Here's our y axis. Here's our x axis. For vector A, 3 in the x direction, 1, 2, 3, and 6 in the y direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so where these two points meet, that would be vector A right there. So there's vector A. Vector B is 2 in the x direction, 1, 2, and 5, negative 5 in the y direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's negative 5. And where these two come together, there's vector B. Like so. And of course, we're looking for the angle between them. Let's call that theta. And what is that angle equal to? All right. Now, notice that to find the dot product, we say that a dot b is equal to a times b times the cosine of the angle between them. And we can also say that a dot b is equal to ax bx plus ay by. We only need to go two terms because there's no z direction here. This is a two-dimensional plane. If that's true, we can then say that a b times a cosine of theta is equal to a x b x plus a y b y. And if I divide both sides by the magnitude of a times b, I get the cosine of theta is equal to a x b x plus a y b y divided by the magnitude of a times b, so I'm putting this and putting it underneath that. And then if I take the r cosine, I can say that theta, therefore, is equal to the r cosine of ax bx plus ay by divided by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b. Wow, that's how we can find the angle between any two vectors. And of course, if this is in three dimensions, you would still have plus a, a, a z b z there as well. All right, let's put in what we know. We know AX and BX, AY and BY. We know what those numbers are. So we can say this is equal to the R cosine of AX is 3, BX is 2, plus AY, which is 6, and BY is minus 5. Remember, when we deal with the dot products, we have to put the uh, direction of the components as well as well as the magnitudes. That would be minus divided by, now I need to know the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B. Remember how to find the magnitudes. We can say that the magnitude of A is equal to the square root of A sub X squared plus A sub Y squared. So in this case, that's the square root of, looks like 3 squared plus 6 squared. Uh, 6 squared is 36, 3 squared is 9, 36 and 9 is 45. That would be the square root of 45. And for the magnitude of b, that's equal to the square root of b sub x squared plus b sub i squared. Sum them together, take the square root. And so b sub x is 2 squared plus b sub y is a minus 5 squared. So that would be uh, 25 plus 4 or the square root of 29. All right, so now we can go ahead and plug those in here. So that would be the square root of 45 times the square root of 29. Okay, what is it equal to? I can simplify this a little bit. It's equal to the r cosine of 3 times 2, that would be 6, plus 6 times the negative 5 would be minus 30, divided by the square root of 45 times 29. And simplifying this a little bit more, that would be the r cosine of minus 24 over the square root of 45 times 29. All right, so we get 45 times 29. Take the square root, take the inverse, because that's the denominator. So second function, 1 over x. There we go. And then multiply times the negative 24. Equals, and I get this is equal to the arc cosine of negative 0. 0.664, and if I take the r cosine of that, let's see what we get. So take the r cosine, and I get 
131.6 degrees. So this is equal to theta equal to 131.6 degrees. And there is our answer. When we look at our graph, we can see that it's clearly bigger than 90 degrees. So 131.6 looks fairly good. And uh, again, to, ex to explain what we just did, we realize that the cross product a dot b is a times b times the cosine of theta. We know that we can also write it as the product of the x and the y components like that and sum them together. That which means that this equals this. We can solve that for the cosine of theta and then we take the r cosine to solve for theta. Plug in the component magnitudes ax, bx, ay, by. Plug in the magnitudes of a and b. Multiply it all together and take the r cosine and that's how you find the angle.